G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in, system building time again here at the Backyard Tech Channel for a Friday afternoon and as you saw in the IT acquisitions video uploaded earlier, old mate's finally got his hands on a Core i7, as you, uh, as you saw there, it's a 3.5 gig Core i7 3770, uh, K I think for memory, um, 3.5 gig quad core 8 thread, um, I'm happy with it, so what's the plan? Old mate's going back to an Intel based system, which I'm happy about. I'm not. My AMD hasn't been bad, but it hasn't been exactly great either, especially at the virtualization level. So I've now got the Core i7, but I'm not going to trash my AMD system. What I'm actually going to do is use my existing AMD motherboard to run Zentiel. So I'm going to swap out the boards, I'm going to run Zentiel on my AMD system and my main PC is going back to being an Intel based system. So I've already done a full backup using obviously Macrium, created Resto Media, I've got the backup done as well. Everything is ready to go. So let's start transferring motherboards. Let's get into it. Okay. So <clears throat> the first thing we've got to do is get this Core i7 motherboard out, get the RAM out. Now I'm hoping this has a USB 3 front plug on it somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is, there. So there's the front USB plug, which is good. Okay. So what I've got to do is get the USB out of it. Should be alright. Okay, we have SATA. So we've got SATA 6 gigabit, 1 and 2, and then 4 SATA 3 gigabit. So that's alright. Let's have a look at this, shall we? So let's say dual intelligent processors fan expert plus okay so this is actually a really bloody good board isn't it all right luckily i'm not using this psu because it's a bit weak this one the 550 watt power supply is probably going to be heaps anyway all right let me get the main pc and we'll start uh, stripping it all to pieces all right, so I've got the main PC out here, ready to go. Quick release screws. Now I've got that fan which needs to come off as well. So that's easy to do. So I'll get the fan off. And then, oh no, I don't need to get the fan off. Let me just put the fan there and then pull the motherboard out can't I all right so let's start disconnecting everything on the motherboard and then putting it all back together again all right so I've got everything disconnected I'm gonna get the RAM out for in a moment but I can do that shortly so we'll get the board out and then uh, I'll swap in the new board all right one AMD board out so we'll get the RAM out once I've got this board in. So let me go and do that now. All right, so I've got the Core i7 board out. Swap out the RAM, drop the graphics card in. Obviously drop the um, IO plate because it's gonna be different to that. Oh, maybe not. Yes, it is. It will actually be different. So, change the IO um, base plate and then put it in. All right, my RAM's in. 32 gig. 
just want to go over a few of these. Now, the other thing I did get, which is going to make life a lot easier, I love these little adapter things for the um, uh, front panel I.O. Um, can't really see it, but these make life a lot easier because all you do is plug everything onto this and it goes onto here. makes it a lot easier to uh, plug up your computer. Okay. There's our top fan plug there. So the top fan can go there. Uh, my torch just turned off, but anyway. All right. Let me get this in and we'll go keep going. All right. So CPU powers in. ATX powers in. Just got to do the front panel, USB 3, card reader, etc. Hard drives are all plugged up. Um, which is really good, so they're done. So now it's just a case of doing the final bit of plug up and graphics card and everything, and then start the restoration. All right, graphics cards in, RAM's in, CPU, everything's ready to rock. So the next time I see you, we'll be off this Core i7. I'm about to start the restoration now. Okay, so sides are back on. All done. So now all I've got to do is plug up the recovery USB and the uh, hard drive dock containing the restoration image. And fingers crossed, I should see you very soon. All right. So here's my Macrium backup. As you can tell, I'm going to restore the image to the original drive. I've already backed up J drive, so it doesn't matter. So let's, uh, hang on. Continue. All right. So while that goes off and restores, I'm going to put this motherboard in this, and this can be in my new Zentil system. And I can just lay it on its side in the cabinet anyway, but that's probably the easiest way of doing it. So I'll get started. All right. So got the motherboard in. It literally just fits. Not a lot of room in this. I'll hit this with the air compressor later. I'm just going to get uh, a few screws in at the moment. I can get the damn screws in the hole. There we go. So to be honest with you, I don't actually, this is my favourite thing to do is like hardware stuff. Because it's, it's easy. You know, there's no stuffing around with anything. No chaos. It's just easy. Okay, so screw there. I'll try and get to that screw there. Get this one in for now. Hang on a moment. All right, get this one in. If it'll go in. All right, now, the camera will focus, but it won't. That'd be right. So that's a 350-watt power supply. The camera's not going to focus, unfortunately, but it's a 350 um, to 420, which will be more than enough, I'd say. I don't need any more than that. Turn the torch back on. A couple more screws to put in. Uh, there, there up there let me get them in and we'll keep going that one up in the corner there is not the easiest one to get into so i'm gonna have to work on that but there we go all right so this board's now ready i've got a couple of other SATA leads so the way we'll set this up will be two hard drives in here you see there i've got six SATA ports to pick from which is fine 
Look at, which I'll put one screw in up here on the ram. Hang on a moment. All right, so I'll get this screw in here. I'll have to work on getting that one in the corner later. So, uh, camera's not going to focus, unfortunately. There we go. So, you can see there, it's a 350 watt with a peak load of 420, but this thing's only going to be running two hard drives. So, I'm not too worried about pulling too much power. I'm going to uh, basically, anyway, there we go. All right. So, what we'll do tomorrow is install Zentiel onto this. We'll get it all set up. Get the DC working as it should have been in the first place. <laughs> and uh, go from there. The only other thing I've got to do is this mess of wires, which has got to go down there. I'm going to do that later. Look at the USBs. That's the HD audio. I'm not worried about that. But the USBs, I am. Because I've wrapped it underneath the motherboard, but that's all right. I can just go in to there it'll be alright like that I might as well plug the audio on just to get it out of the road don't need it but gets it out of the road chassis fan There we go. So this computer is now ready to have um, Zentil installed. So two hard drives. We'll get some other saddle leads which we've got lying around and we'll be right to go. All right. I'm not going to worry about USB 3 or anything like that. I don't need it. A couple of nicks in there. Remember the onboard nick for this is stuffed. So... I've got one nick to go there and I'll put the other nick there. They're both PCI, so that'll be alright. They're both gigabit. Um, I'm not, I don't think I'll need PCIe gigabit, but anyway, there we are. Alright, done. Anyway, I'll uh, put this together once my new computer's sorted out. And I'm back. Now on a Core i7, quad core 8 thread, 3.4 gig, but it's running at 3.5 gig, which is fine by me i don't mind <laughs> but i'm now back on an intel based cpu i've got no windows activation errors which is really good macrium's done a brilliant job guys i can't recommend macrium strongly enough it is brilliant absolutely brilliant but as you can see here core i7 3770 3.4 gig but it's running at 3.5 according to the bios suits me and the reboot from, okay, from the restoration into Windows took about 10 seconds to start loading Windows, which is a lot faster than that AMD was. So from boot to Windows load, it's about 5 or 10 seconds. From Windows starting to load to where I am now, took about 30 seconds. And that's on a mechanical drive. So I'm not complaining. Believe you me, I am not complaining. So there we go. Old mate's got back onto his favourite platform, which is Intel. And I'm much, much happier. So now, let me explain how what we're going to do with the AMD in a uh, slightly more involved scenario. Let's bring myself back up. Okay, so the AMD. So that AM... 3 plus 8320 CPU on the Asus motherboard, which you saw I've put into the case, that's going to become the Zentiel server. So I am going to run that. We That um, motherboard can raid, which is good. Couldn't get the other one to raid, if you noticed. So I'm actually going to raid it up. We'll, uh, we'll set it all up. Thanks to Dan Calloway has actually set me straight, told me what I did wrong. Stupid me. Um... And we'll get all that done uh, tomorrow here at the Backyard Tech Channel. So, sweet. Obviously, I've got a little bit of work to do with OBS, but we'll get there. Catch you tonight. See you all. Cheers.